My name is Thorsten Overgaard. I'm a Danish photographer. I travel the world teaching photography and taking photos. Today I'll tell you a little bit about my workshops. I travel around the world most of the year teaching workshops. The majority of people who do my workshops, they use Leica and they know me because I have a website where there's a lot of articles about Leica and a lot of photographs that I've done with Leica uh, over the years. What I do or what it's about is actually how to become a more competent photographer, how to inspire people to do uh, more photography with the cameras. And you could say very simple, I have people who have been photographing with Leica or whatever for 30 years, I have people who just bought a camera two weeks ago or two months ago. In any case, I think a lot of people is that they get a new camera or a new lens and maybe you don't really uh, use it enough. I mean, you appreciate it and you really like it and you can feel this is a real camera and this is awesome. It doesn't get much better than this, but you should use it. So one of the ways to use it is uh, attend my, one of my workshops, learn the basics. One of the things you definitely will learn is how to throw around the camera and not uh, protect it because it doesn't really need to be protected. But also to actually get some pictures taken and to get them through the whole workflow, get out, meet some people, take photos of them, look at the light, read the light. And also we spend a whole day on uh, editing photographs because it's really important that you not just take photos or think about taking photos, but you actually take them but you also finalize them, decide, wow, that's a good photo, that's a less good photo. And then the third day, we do a portrait photography because you should be able to take a good portrait of uh, your spouse or your kids or your family and friends. And also how to share the photographs. So we actually share the photographs within the workshop. And often when people finish the workshop, they will share them with the world, either digitally or print or on iPads or whatever. And that is, you could say that is the end product of uh, my workshop, is that people take a lot more photographs with a lot more confidence. That's kind of like how it is uh, all. People get very different results out of it, and they also come in from many different levels, that they know something, they don't know uh, all of it, or whatever. But the point is, you have to take more photographs, and you have to do something with them, and that's going to make you appreciate uh, your equipment and use it more and know more why is this the coolest uh, camera on the earth to have. So that's basically what I teach in my workshops. One of the things we deal with in my workshop is light. And I mean, light is very fundamental for photography. The word photography means painting or writing with light. And I talk in my books and on my website about magic of light and quality light and stuff like that. And that's all great. When we get out in the street or we get out in the real world, we actually look for magic of light. And I try to teach people that I can actually recognize magic of light from far away and you can predict it. So that's one thing. Magic of light is, uh, I mean, it's essential for photography. It doesn't matter how great a lens you have, how great a sensor, how great you are at the computer or anything. If you don't have the light right, it's just not going to be, you could say, magic. So. That's something that once you see the magic of light, it's very easy to recognize it and use it. And it makes life so much simple and the quality of the pictures uh, so much better and higher. So I travel all over the world and you can actually see, if you go to my website, you can see the schedule of which uh, cities and countries I do and, and when. And generally, a lot of my workshops are in uh, big cities because big cities are easy to go out and photograph. It's also easy to get there. So sometimes people would ask, can you do an exotic workshop on a hillside or something? And I can because I don't care about hillsides and they're hard to get to. It's easy to get to London, New York, Hong Kong, or a place like that, Tokyo, or even Cuba is a little bit exotic, but there's an airplane landing and then you can get to the hotel in 20 minutes. I like places like that because it works well. And I basically travel around the world because I like to travel and I take photos because I like to photograph and I happen to also do workshops uh, when I'm there anyways. So that's kind of the system, how it works. And you can see on the website, it is literally all over the world, all through the year. So it's kind of like you pick your local city because you don't have time to leave the city. It has the advantage that you will actually learn that you can take photos in your own city, even if you think it's boring, you will suddenly see you can take pictures. 
or you do an even better thing, you pick a location where you always wanted to go and maybe it aligns with some other travel. So a great thing to do is to just pick a place that you always wanted to go to and sound exciting and it would be, make you enthusiastic to go out and photograph. So you can pick Rome, Tokyo, Hong Kong, whatever. I'm going to be in uh, most of the places throughout the year. So you just pick a date and a location and that's it. And you book an airline ticket. And you can see on the website, I have a schedule, uh, usually six to 12 months in advance. So you can plan uh, your life after that. So my workshop is very uh, casual. It is very, uh, sometimes it's like a kindergarten. So it's not, we don't, sit in a, we don't sit in a classroom, we go out in the streets and we do stuff. And we actually also drink coffee and we have lunch and we talk about uh, gear and talk about life. And that's how it should be. I don't like uh, to sit in a classroom and look at a projector or something. I like to take photographs. I like to use my equipment. I like to meet people. I like to see the world and I like to make pictures and go back and show, see, this is awesome. So that's kind of the spirit of the workshop. A lot of people who do my workshop do it again within months or within years after. And it's kind of like a kick of uh, new inspiration each time, but also to get with this group of interesting people that is always in my workshop. So I hope that you go to my website, look at the schedule and you pick a date and a location and I will see you there. That's all I had to say today. Hope to see you next time.